fashions and hair fashions. And tonight at the Festival Theatre, music and hair are the subject of an extravaganza called The Show. Ross Bray was along for the final rehearsals. Right now, the final rehearsal touches are being made to a show about hair and rock music. Essentially, a night of personalities. Daryl Cotton, Belinda Green, Molly Meldrum, John Farnham, and also a night of fashion images. Images from the world of rock. Images that are more and more being reflected in our own urban lifestyles. This extravaganza has been billed by its promoters as one of 81's most magnificent social and entertainment nights. Produced by Patrick O'Rourke, hairdressers. It's hair from the point of view that the, the players in the show have their hair done, but it's not necessarily a, a hair show like the ones put on by a lot of the hairdressing companies. This is essentially something to highlight um, sort of the hairstyles. Yeah, and um, mainly on the, the influences, the big image makers of um, rock have had on the on the hair industry, you know, sort of from the influence of clothes and hair fashion and such over the years. Is this the reason that you've decided to set it into a rock show? Yeah, I, th I, I sort of wanted to do something really commercial that appealed to the public rather than to hairdressers. So sort of putting together the ingredients we have, I sort of um, tried to get a mass appeal that sort of highlighted hairdressing at the same time. Is it based on any fantasy? Yeah, probably a fantasy I had is sort of um, bringing to life my own sort of um, the videos that you see on a lot of the pop shows and things um, around at the moment. Um, I'm influenced in my own work by them and I sort of wanted to do a, a show that sort of brought that to life. Do you think in the future this might set some sort of trend towards promoting not only hair but fashion, anything else as a combined rock show? Oh yeah, I think it, it's, it has to um, you know, set a trend because um, people are oft, often influenced by um, you know, the music and the, and, the, and the pop images that are around us so I, I can't see why we can't use those images to, to sell a product. Is it going to be a sort of promotion that will pay for itself? Well, I don't know if it will pay for itself as far as on the night but I think people after seeing it will be um, uh, surprised by the talents of you know what a hairdressing salon can put out so I'm um, hopefully they should leave tonight with a, a good idea on the sort of work that we do in the salon. If you had to describe what people would see on, on the night, how would you describe it? I describe it as um, the video clips that you see on television brought to life um, using local people um, to present uh, the pop influences of our time. If rock music and hairstyles aren't enough, there's also a dash of ballet. By the look of these rehearsals, it may be something new in hair promotion, or something different in musical entertainment. At this stage, nobody's too sure. Yeah, I'd hope to be down there tonight, but I'm afraid I shall have to go home and have a hot rum and cloves instead. Ah, well, back in just a moment. <laughs>